Welcome to the wedding planning series vlog. Today we are going dress shopping, which I'm very excited for. My mom is actually on her way right now, so we're gonna head to the boutique and then we do lunch after. I only have one appointment today, so I think I just wanna try things on to get an idea of what kind of fit I like. Um, I do have an idea, but I'm not going to be close-minded to other styles of dresses, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm going to pick out my outfit here, though, and then we will start to get ready to head out. If you guys saw my last video, I did thrift this little set here, so I might want to do something like this, but also thinking maybe trousers and a nice little sweater. I'm going to try this outfit on first, I think, and then if that doesn't work, I will switch it out. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with this on the first try. So, I like that it is, well, I have to wear something underneath this. And, but I think I like this because it's simple, but it still says bridal. I just don't want to be super overdressed because my mom and I plan to go shopping afterwards at regular stores, so I don't want to be so dressed up in a white dress. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be just fine. And then I am wearing my little loafers with these. And then I'll probably just carry this bag here, my little Michael Kors. And then I am wearing um, my necklace that my fiance got me for our first Christmas together. And then just my ring. And then I have on... Um, my pearl earrings here. So again, really simple and casual-ish. Elevated casual. I was thinking about maybe doing this. I also thrifted this the other day. It's kind of hard to find something to go underneath this. I mean, a crisp white tank or bodysuit underneath pro would probably look the best, but I don't really have one um that i know of right off the bat so i was either gonna do that with like a pair of relaxed denim jeans like light wash denim jeans but i honestly don't have any time to figure out an outfit and this is all that i pulled last night so i think i'm just gonna stick with this but i'm pretty happy with it i know people have bridal smells like perfume for the day of and i'm honestly thinking I might do that too. I really like this one here. Um, I got this for my birthday last year. Mademoiselle Chanel. I really like this one. And then my parents just got me this one here for Valentine's Day. And it's the um, signature Chanel number no. 5. And I really like the smell too. But I've been wearing it every day this week. So I think I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to pack my Charlotte Tilbury lip kind of dark today i don't know why yesterday was really sunny all right and then i'll show you guys what i'm going to be packing for my little bridal bag pack my strapless bra <clears throat> and then i have two heels that i want to bring these ones here i'm going to put them in shoe bags obviously but um i like these because they're slip-on but they're just not that high and then my Jimmy Choo ones, I like them because they're high, but I don't know. I just don't really like the color on these. They're a little bit too yellowy tan for me, but no one's going to see it anyway. So I'm just going to pack both so I have some height variation. And then what else? Oh, I was also going to bring my little clip in case I want to see my hair up in some of them. And then, of course, my lip gloss that you guys just saw me put on. This is charlotte tilbury pillow talk it is my favorite and then i think that's it maybe some lotion just in case because my skin is kind of dry right now and then i want to say that's it pretty simple i think <laughs> and then of course i am bringing you guys so i'm gonna put you in my bag and then i'll probably see you at the boutique Same thing. 
be too. I don't think it's me, like my style. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just mom's big butt in the frame. <laughs> I forgot it's still recording. Which one was it that you picked that one? Or was it the, no, it was the V for the strap, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> as long as we have to see if it's available for the daughter, you have to be able to this. You like that one? Yeah. I think that's the one I picked up. What do you like about it? I like the I like the fittedness of it. You do? Yeah. Better than that fuller skirt. I don't know. I know. <laughs> well, we'll keep them both aside. I'm just trying. I'm gonna pull some things for you. So I'm just okay. Gonna, yeah. Pull a couple different ones and see. Yeah. No, I like either. Whatever. Which one you like? I mean, I think they're both nice. You know, just. Whatever you like. Yeah. I like everything. That's I know. <laughs> Realistic. Yeah. I think so. Okay. That we can get it So. Okay. Cool. Aura. So it's. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually pretty. Yeah. Ooh, that train is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, I like I like the train, I like I feel like I like that other top more, but I like this bottom, bottom yeah. more. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Very phased into that. Mm -hmm. like, but I like the other top more because it's got all the beads and stuff. Yeah, and then the cutouts. <laughs> yeah. Really nice on it. And this one is. What's your theme? I'm going for like a English country cottage. I love it. If that's me and quaint, hopefully that's the goal. I love it. The vibe. The vibe, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You see? It's hard. I know. All of them are pretty, so. I mean, all you have to do at this point is say, like, I like it. Let's throw it in the running. Okay. That one's pretty, too. It actually fits perfectly. Just the strap is. Holy moly. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm impressed you like zipped it all the way up too. Oh my gosh. Yourself. That's, I don't know, that, that is, that could have been more perfect. <laughs> Holy buckets. Wow. Yeah. Does it feel weird now that I took the perfect? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's sparkling pretty too. Yeah. We just have like 10 different weddings, so I can have 10 <laughs> different houses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but one husband only. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think I would like the fitted, like the really fitted stuff. I thought maybe I'd want to go for the big ball gown, but. I know you don't like big ball gown stuff. You know I don't? Nah, no, you don't. Really? You think you do, I don't think you do. <laughs> I mean, unless it's really poofy, like way out here, then you probably take it, but. Yeah. Cute. What would you vote on? I'm just trying to get a feel for her. Yeah. yeah I should have done that for all of them, but. Saturday. Okay. At least now we know what's going on. I really like fishing. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna go in here, too, to see how that would look. Because I think. Yeah. 
to be I here. Have my hair up as opposed to. What do you think? Yeah, that's pretty too. I know. I can't eat anything, honestly. Oh, yeah, everything's pretty. Yeah, Yeah, but this, this yeah, this year is like, this year is great, you forget. Right? For a Debbie Tom ball. <laughs> I mean, if I need a model, I'll, I promise I'll put you in something. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think a fitted is going to be more. Yeah, it's more you. Yeah. That one would actually be really fun. Um, there's a new wedding venue, the one I want to do about in Wisconsin, the winery. Yeah. Alright everyone, we're back home. I wanted to sit down and talk you through pretty much everything that had happened that you didn't see on camera. I showed the fun part where we're trying on dresses and everything was going really smoothly and I was just happy to be experimenting with different types of styles but there was a lot that was going on in my mind behind the scenes initially before going wedding dress shopping i already knew i was going to be on a tighter timeline so if you yourself are planning a wedding and you are trying to figure out timeline definitely look for your dress they're 8 to 12 months in advance just depending on what your retailers around you uh, provide so I already knew I was most likely going to be paying a little bit of an inconvenience fee Or just knowing that I was going to rush order things and also with the alterations and tailoring I didn't I knew that there was going to be time involved in that So I waited a little bit longer than I should have but I ultimately just knew I I always say this but I always trust the process and I really am an optimistic person so I wasn't too worried about it but I think that if you are a planner and you know that you don't want to pay rush order fees or the inconvenience fees then you should probably start planning as soon as possible one of the main reasons why I also did not want to start dress shopping super early was because I just didn't want to have all the time to fill with thinking, overthinking it, and maybe even changing my mind. So <laughs> I've been in similar situations like that, and I just knew myself well enough to not pressure myself into going super early and finding a dress. And there were also other life things that were going on that I just wasn't 100% wanting to jump ahead and pull the trigger on a dress way, way, way in advance. Okay, with that backstory being cleared up, when I got to the dress shop, 
the owner was very very transparent with me and she was so kind and she told me that it wasn't not doable but it was going to be tougher than say your average bride that comes in 8 to 12 months prior to her wedding date. As I said, I am an optimistic person. I appreciated her giving it to me straight and I also told her that I was there to try to find styles that I also liked and just to get a feel. I figured I was there, I might as well try on dresses and we will figure out the rest. Her and her associate um, helped me by just allowing me to kind of go through and pick out styles that I liked and gravitated towards and we just started the try-on process from there. And from there she was going to start looking up specific styles to see what the rush order would look like or if they could receive that particular gown in time. So ultimately what had happened was I was kind of going through a different array of styles. I really thought I wanted a ball gown, a really big beautiful ball gown type of dress and I did try one on. I thought I liked it. I thought I think I liked the idea more than I actually liked the dress until I saw it back in photos and videos and I just was not <clears throat> as impressed as I thought I was initially in my own head. Um, so I'm really glad that I didn't go with that but Ultimately, we narrowed down the styles that I actually wanted to take seriously, so I really liked the fitted look after trying it on. I honestly didn't think I would like the fitted look. I didn't necessarily gravitate towards that at first, but I knew I wanted to at least try it on. After seeing it on, it really did make a world of a difference. So we started narrowing down in that specific style, and ultimately what had happened was she had a bride that ordered that gown about maybe six to eight months ago and when it came in they didn't do the alterations that she had requested so they ended up not selling that gown to her so she had brought it out for me to try because she had noticed that i was really liking the fitted gowns that we were trying on and that gown in particular was a little bit more fitted and it actually was one it was very similar to a style that I tried on that I really did like but again we just didn't know if there there was a rush order and what that cost would look like and if that would be way over my budget so she brought it out and I tried it on and this dress fit me like a glove I just I you couldn't have asked for a better scenario because it really just slipped right on and I might have already knew when I was in the dressing room but I had I'd seen it completely in the full lighting and you know on the step stool so I walked out and my mom said that she had noticed that my face was a lot different when I had put that gown on in particular and when I looked at it I was in awe I mean you guys saw the clip so I, even though I didn't show the gown, you guys could hear the conversations and also just my, f everything about that was just like a different vibe. And so I already knew, yeah, this is probably the one that I'm, I want to go with. So, um, from there, I still tried on a couple other dresses just to make sure and also get it out of my system. Really, I could have been there all day trying on dresses, but I already made my decision and I just knew that that was the dress for me. Alterations I will still have to do for minor things, but overall the dress fits very, very well. The best part is, is the fact that I don't have to rush order it, I don't have to pay extra for heavy alterations or even for the rush order. I was able to take the dress off the rack that day so I took it home with me and I am just elated. I'm very appreciative for all the work that they did to help me figure something out and then also just the fact that everything kind of worked out and I really wasn't worried when she told me right as I got in that my timeline was tight, my budget was tight for the things that I wanted and I'm not trying to give unrealistic expectations to any of you out there that are watching this. Um, because I do understand the importance of planning and I think that you really should plan if you can in advance. However, I will say on the flip side of that, as somebody that really, I truly don't think I'm very high maintenance and I also can understand the expectation versus reality. So I knew that I wasn't going to, I knew kind of going in there that I had very low expectations going in and not in a bad way, just 
in a way where I wasn't going to expect the world for being on a budget. So you really have to balance that out, I think, with anything in life, but in particular for wedding dress shopping, I don't think I'm a bridezilla whatsoever, and I honestly think that's why my luck has been so great so far, and just knowing that not everything's going to be perfect, but that's okay because you can still navigate around it. I am losing my voice here. I don't know why, but I wanted to at least give you guys the backstory so that maybe if you are thinking about dress shopping, but you aren't sure about your timeline, I just say go and do it as soon as possible. Try to find a small or local boutique. So I wanted to mention here as well that I did find a wedding specific website that is curated and customized towards brides. So go and check it out. It's called Rowley. They have the most beautiful wedding items that you can find there for less than retail price. A lot of these things have of course only been worn once or never. They have brand new tags on them. You can find a lot of great items and for great deals. You can find engagement dresses, you can find even wedding dresses on there. I know that there was a few that I had looked at so I think it's worth a shot if that is a route that you want to eventually take. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed going wedding dress shopping with me. I am kind of sad in a way that I am done wedding dress shopping. It was literally just one appointment and it took us an hour and a half but I'm really really happy with my dress. I can't wait to show you guys and thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more wedding series videos.